Good morning, uh, Jim Hampton here, uh, Fire Behavior Analyst with Pacific Northwest Team 2, talking about some pyrocumulus development on the bootleg fire. Uh, pyrocumulus uh, has been developing uh, generally between 3 and 5 in the afternoon whenever our smoke layer clears out enough to get some radiant heat from the sun on these critically dry fuels. Uh, over here uh, on the uh, southeast flank of the fire, we're looking at um, areas going toward the Gearhart Wilderness and uh, some of that beetle kill that creates that intense burning that will push that pyrocumulus up, uh, some to an altitude of what we believe is around 20,000 feet. Uh, other areas of the fire, uh, uh, up in and near the Saican Marsh, a little less fuel up here, so a little less intense building, but still popping up a little bit. And then uh, through the central portion of the eastern flank, we see pyrocumulus uh, all along that, basically that flank. And uh, when they combine into one big pyrocumulus, it's easily visible from uh, 100 to 120 air miles from, uh, from the fire site. Good morning, Forrest Ownby, Fire Behavior Analyst with Bootleg Fire. I've been here since uh, July 7th, and so I've been the Fire Behavior Analyst on the fire through that duration and through the through that duration we've been seeing movement and the, the prevailing winds and that's what's driving the fire it actually makes the fire move across the landscape is either topography the slopes the terrain or or it's the fuels and that's the timber in that or we get the the wind is really a big driver of what makes a fire progress in a certain direction and so with this fire we see that the fire started by Fuego Mountain way off to the west and then it has progressively had southwest or west winds and each day of those days we've had different movements and when we get stronger movements it's moved three miles to the east and other days it's moved shorter maybe a mile or less but progressively it's just moving with this persistent weather that we've had we've had southwest winds day after day after day we've had hot and dry temperatures day after day after day and what that has progressively done for this fire is make it move to the east and when we see it moving to the east it's just some of it is a little bit more northeast sometimes it moves a little bit more southeast the southeast seems like it's bulging a little bit more around here and that's because we have the Gearhart forest that wilderness and the fuels and the topography are all lining up and so we have a little bit more of an explosion kind of down in this corner and pushing it up to that eastern direction.